In this video, you will learn how to combine data from multiple cells in Excel. Currently, you can see here I have four columns. First column shows the first name. Second column shows the last name. Third column shows the country name. While fourth column shows the combined data. You can see here I have combined data from all three columns into one column. So there is a useful function in Excel that is called concatenate function. You can use that function to combine data from different columns. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. Firstly, select the cell where you want to display the result. For example, I want to combine first name, last name and country name into this cell. I will select this cell. Then I will put equal sign. After doing that, you will find the option of fx or insert function. Click here. A pop-up window appeared here. Now remove existing data from here. And select a category. I will select all. Now in search option, I will write concatenate. Now press go and here you can see a concatenate option that is already highlighted. Then I will click on OK. Now you can see here two text box appeared here. Don't worry if you click on the last text box then Excel will automatically show the other text box. So our task is to combine the data from first three columns into four column. Firstly, I will select first name into text box one. Click here and select this cell. Then I want to enter space. I will click on text two and press space button. It will insert a space. Now click on text three. And you can see here in uh, quotation marks appeared here. It's mean that the space is inserted. Now I will select last name and here you can see the preview of your result first name space and last name. Now I want to insert a comma click on text four and insert comma. Now I also want to insert space. I will press space button and I will click on text five. Now you can see here. The comma along with quotation marks appeared here. It means that the Excel will show the comma along with space. And in text five, I will select the third cell, which is the country name. And in preview, you can see here first name, space, last name, comma, space, and country name appeared here. So we have completed this task. Now I will click on OK. And you can see here Excel has combined all three cells into one cell. You don't need to apply this formula on individual rows. Select the output cell where you have displayed the result. Then place your cursor on the bottom. When plus sign appear, drag it down. Excel will automatically apply the formula on remaining rows and the combined result will be appeared in that particular rows. Now, if you want to make changes in these results, then you have to make changes in source cell instead of output cell. For example, I want to change the country name. So I will write Pakistan here. Press enter. Now you can see here the country name is changed here. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.